Howdy folks, Moses Woodson here from High Desert Homestead. And today I'm gonna to bring you something a little different. Um, as I am training J uh, Prince Jack, um, I'm needing to make some drags and I'm needing to make some components uh, for harness and uh, just a sundry of things. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a single tree. What a single tree does is it kind of equalizes the load uh, when you're turning so that the animal's not pulling too hard on one side. It kind of equalizes uh, and they get a constant pressure in the turns. I got all the stuff over here, so I'm going to bring you along with me and we're going to take it. We're going to make a single tree. Okay, I'm going to be making a single tree out of this. Um, it's just a piece of pipe that we used uh, for bracing piece of junk laying around um usually a single tree would be made out of wood uh and then it would have two hooks on it to hook up trace chains or tugs uh, leather I, I we generally call them tugs where i come from uh if it's chained it's a trace chain um but i'm gonna be i don't have a clevis so I'm gonna be making it, uh, my clevis out of two pieces of strap. This is just some old strap I had laying around, already had holes in it. Um, I'm gonna have to use that for my clevis ring. And then I'm gonna be using these two small clevises uh, to attach my tugs or my trace chains. Either one, um, I can take it loose, put, the, put it in the trace chain, tighten it back in there. Um, I would really like if if these were a hook, but I don't have any hooks, so I'm using what I got. So what I'm gonna be doing, I gotta measure this, mark the center, and then I'll be drilling a hole uh, for uh, these bolts. I'm gonna be putting them through these two on top and bottom of it, and that's gonna make my clevis. And it'll become clear how a single tree works once we take and we, uh, we hook it up to a to a drag. So I'm gonna get started on it. So we are 33 inches. So that's 15 and one and a half. 15, one and a half. We'll check that. Yeah, depending on where you pull from, I guess. Try that again. 33. Yep, 16, one and a half. Very good. End's not square. <laughs> End wasn't square. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill, drill a pilot hole all the way through here. Got my pilot hole. Now I'm going to be using a be using a step down bit or step up bit in this case. So, what I'll be doing here is 
make sure this fits. Got it off center a little bit. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting one of these on top. And one of these on the bottom. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna want this to move back and forth. So in a minute, I'm gonna take the grinder and I'm gonna split this, this bolt uh, fire up generator and I will take and drive a, a wedge down between there split that out so that the nut won't back off but I don't want it tight I do want it moving because as the animal pulls they can this whole thing can kind of move with the animal and our uh, Our clevis here will be hooked to a chain or to a pin, whichever, and then the animal can move as they need to and equalize the load so it's not, if it's solid, then they'll be pulling harder on one side than they are the other. But this will become apparent once I take and hook it to a drag and get Prince Jack hooked to it. Alrighty, now let's get, we'll do the same thing with this one. Just gonna go on here. I just need enough to split and wedge it out there. Now I'm gonna be taking these, and I don't want these really far out because I wanna be hanging on to them. It'd be ideal if they went inside or they went over the whole thing, but I don't have that luxury. I gotta be able to hook a chain to it or a tug as I said. I don't have to go all the way through with these. Just through the top. So these have a a smooth end and a threaded end. Smooth end is going to go up. Threaded end is going to go down. Just like so. Still move around what we're after. I'll buy stuff like this at flea markets and yard sales. Swap me. 
go, why are you buying that for? Well, might come in handy someday. Sure enough, did. Okay, so basically now, I have a single tree. Hangs pretty level. This is where my trace chains are gonna go, which connect to the, to the harness. Um, this will connect to whatever it is I'm pulling, like so. And the animal can move and pull this direction or move and pull this direction. If not, if this was solid or we were connected solid, then they would pull on one side and the tug or trace would get slack over here and they'd be pulling on one side of their shoulder. This way, it really equalizes the load so that no matter which way the animal goes, this way or this way, they're pulling straight on into the collar or into the breast collar across both their shoulders and not just one. So this is gonna be real handy for when we take and hook up to a drag. Uh, I've gotta get the grinder out. I'll split these bolts, spread them apart, and then they won't, the nuts won't back off. And we've got us a, a handy little single tree here. Works real good. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to try and make a couple of different drags. Now they got them split, I'm just going to take my chisel and push them out a little bit. Doesn't take much. Now that nut can't back off and our single tree is complete. So next time you see this, it's gonna be hooked to a drag. I've just gotta build the drag now. Alrighty folks. So what I got here is a 16 inch tire and I just got a short piece of chain. I've got all kinds of chain. I uh, buy these uh, tire chains at secondhand stores, garage sales, sometimes pick them up for <laughs> pennies uh, and I make different chains different equipment out of them this one here I think I actually bought at a uh, yard sale um, I'm, I'm always picking them up but just drilled a couple holes in this tire and bolted it into it with some big washers I've got a threaded link right there to keep it pivoted and then I've got my single tree on it so i'll kind of show you how it works so if i need to add more weight i can take a couple pieces of chain put another tire behind it I can take and put one to the side each side of it i just pulled it right here and you see how it smoothed out the sand so i'm going to take and uh set the camera up here and just kind of show you how it would look and try to explain to you about equalizing the uh, the pulling pressure. Okay, so basically I'm the donkey and uh, this is connected to trace chains or tugs, depending on what you want to call them, on the harness. So so it comes from the either the pulling collar or the pulling breast collar and it will run down back down along the uh, the side straps and you will hook to it and 
they can pull. Now, as they turn, if this was solid, like I said before, it would pull on one side of me. It would pull on one side of the animal. But because it, it, it has this balancing action, as the animal turns, I'm still pulling the same pressure on the collar or the pulling breast collar. So it doesn't really matter which way I go. I'm still pulling the same amount of pressure. This really helps young animals, horses, donkeys, mules, uh, so that they don't get sore on one side. Um, and it doesn't take very long for them to get sore. You'll see they'll, they'll pull balanced. So this is the very first drag that I will um, hook Prince Jack to when I get to that point. Uh, I want to improve the makeshift harness that I have uh, to, just to start with. I, I want it to be a little bit more comfortable on him, a little bit better. So got my drag, got my single tree. Now I just got to take and work on my harness, uh, and that's a little bit more involved. This here is is a, an easy drag to build. Like I said, with just a few chains, I could put together four tires or three tires. Okay, so I used some small clevises right in here. Um, they're just in one side. I have seen people use eye bolts there. I've seen people use a full-on clevis, which I wish I'd had. You, I, you can make a clevis out of one strap. Um, then you need another clevis to go back to your linchpin. Um, that works too. So you have a clevis here. Instead of this clip, you would have another clevis going back into there. They would be tied together. Got another clevis over here. Then we just got a chain going back to a tire and it's bolted in. So pretty simple setup uh, for teaching a young animal to pull some weight, build their muscle. And once I start working him, I'll work him in this every time. Uh, just to build up his, his muscles, get him used to pulling some weight. And just like any athlete, uh, if you don't take him work, you don't take him build muscles. Alrighty, folks, that's going to end it up for us today. Neat little old build. You'll see me add some stuff to it as we progress in um, Prince Jack's training. I'll add some weight to it, first one thing or another. Um, but first, I've got to get that harness built, a uh, harness that's not going to take him. Uh, it's not going to make him sore, it fits him correctly. Uh, I've built makeshift harnesses and put together different harnesses and Really, the stuff that I ha do have down there is as good as anything that you're going to take and buy online. Uh, I just got to take and make it fit him. So anyway, that's going to do it. Remember, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. We'll see you later.